Hello everyone! This week there are very few reading and writing assignments, hooray! So just the one literature review to keep in mind. Read that assignment sheet in full and then let me know if you have any questions as you endeavor to complete it. But my hope is that because you're done with your research citations practice, your research readings and appointment, your annotated bibliography, you already have a lot to write about. As you get started, please know that you can ask me any questions and that you can check out the examples that I've uploaded to our course Blackboard page. I tried to match them up to the proposal paragraphs from a few weeks ago as a kind of continuation of those examples. You'll also notice that I uploaded the whole paper so that you can see the literature review in context, but you can also just read these for the lit review example if you want. I will also note that the University of Louisville's Writing Center has a really helpful handout on lit reviews. Here's how you access it. I really hope you find all of these examples helpful, okay? And in addition, here are just a few tips about the genre. Literature reviews, or lit reviews, are really weird. <laughs> it's the section of the paper where you show your audience, I, I promise that I did my homework. It's the section of the paper where you do most of your heavy hitting quoting, paraphrasing, and citation. Like in the intro of the paper, you might cite a few sources with your exigence statement, with statistics, or you might cite someone who said a really compelling quote for your significant statement. And you might also cite some sources for the discussion section at the end of your paper. But the middle, the literature review, is where you, well, it's where you review the literature, duh. And in this case, literature means the research that you read about your topic. Now, with the lit review, it's not just paragraph after paragraph after paragraph of gigantic quotes. That would be so boring. And it's also not necessarily just source after source after source that only supports your opinion and your thesis. That would be so biased, right? Rather, a lit review is more like a way to say, this is what's already been said on the subject, and here's what's missing, and this is where my paper comes in because it fills in the blanks. Your task in a literature review is to sort of weave together multiple sides and points of view from multiple sources, and then to sprinkle in your own thoughts here and there to guide your reader for how to interpret your review of the research. The whole point of a lit review is to provide necessary context and background information so that your reader can be more informed on the issue and can therefore follow along in your discussion section that comes later where it's more appropriate to share your opinion and argumentation. For example, if you were writing a paper about gun control laws in America, here's what should be in your lit review. You should discuss what different political parties think about the issue, what laws already exist, and what laws might be on the table, and why people have disagreed about this issue in the past. You should trace the history of gun technology and sales and discuss how guns have impacted our economy. You should talk about recent current events and public responses to those current events. You should offer a comparison and contrast between what your audience's country does as opposed to other countries' laws. And that's not even everything that you can do. Those are just some examples. Add everything that you think will be helpful for a reader who is a complete newcomer to the subject. Think back to the Margaret Kant's reading. Remember Shirley, the fictional student discussed in the article? She ended up not getting a good grade at first because she only tried to talk about black and white facts. But when she wrote a real literature review that talked about what multiple sides thought, she did a much better job because her lit review, and therefore her overall paper, was much richer and more complex. Her reader learned a lot. I'll be real with you. To be honest, I think this is one of the hardest parts of writing a research paper. It's kind of like the fighting a dragon part of the saga. But once you accomplish this section, the rest will all fall into place, okay? Okay, so good luck, and let me know if you discover any questions.